A very good evening and welcome to yet another edition of the Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news for Steam, I'm Dred Abdin. We start off with a look at your headlines. News first headline. In headlines, police opened fire on cattle transport lorry in Panadura, injuring one. One million postal voting applications printed. 2024 general election apply for postal voting. Far right in Austria opens new era with election victory. And in sports, Chelsea's WSL clash with Man United postponed due to scheduling conflict. And in your top story this evening, a man was injured in a shooting incident in the Pallimola area of Panadura. The shooting occurred when the police fired at a lorry transporting cattle. According to the police, the shooting was carried out because the driver ignored orders to stop. The injured individual has been admitted to the Panadura Base Hospital for treatment. Into more local news, the Government Printing Department has announced the completion of the printing of postal voting applications for the upcoming parliamentary elections. According to the Government Printer Ganga Kalpani Lianage, a total of 1 million postal voting applications have been printed. A portion of these completed applications was handed over to the Election Commission yesterday, with the remaining set to be delivered today. Ganga Kalpani Lienagi also stated that all printing activities related to the parliamentary elections, including ballot papers and official polling cards, will be completed a week before the elections scheduled for the 14th November. The remaining printing task will commence after the nomination period, which starts on the 4th October and ends at noon on the 11th October as per a special gazette notification. The parliamentary elections will be conducted based on the 2024 voter registry, while the newly elected parliament is expected to convene on the 21st November. And also in more local news, the acceptance of postal voting applications for the 2024 parliamentary elections will commence tomorrow. This announcement was made by the Commissioner General of Elections, Saman Shri Ratnayaka, who stated that the process will continue until the 8th of next month. According to the Parliamentary Elections Act, applications for postal voting must be accepted from the 7th to the 14th day following the announcement of the election. Commissioner General Ratnayaka has urged all eligible postal voters to submit their applications through their respective institutional heads between the 1st and 8th October. The 2024 voter registry will serve as the basis for this election. Although the same registry was used for the 2024 presidential election, voters are required to reapply for postal voting due to potential changes in their place of employment or institutional heads. Therefore, it is essential for all postal voters to submit new applications to ensure their eligibility for the upcoming elections. <laughs> And up next is international news. International news. In news overseas, Austria's far-right Freedom Party has opened the door to a new era. Its leader Herbert Kittel has told supporters as they celebrated an unprecedented, unprecedented rather, election victory. Kickel's party won 29.2% of the vote according to official provisional results, almost three points ahead of the Conservative People's Party on 26.5%, but sh far short of a majority. And up next is your update on sports. Sports News In sports, Chelsea's clash with Manchester United in the Women's Super League set for the 6th October has been postponed due to its proximity with the Londoners' Champions League match against Real Madrid on the 8th October, Chelsea confirmed on Sunday. The WSL champion said the scheduling conflict between the two home fixtures could not be resolved despite their best efforts. <laughs> 
And of course, with that, we'll wrap up this edition of the Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team, I've been Trey Darbin. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.